Hello, and welcome to a Photonic Cleaning Technologies step-by-step -step guide. Today we will be cleaning a mounted cinematography object with our no-touch method. By no-touch, we mean that the only the cleaning product ever comes in contact with the optic. To do so, we will be using our first contact red polymer, an o-ring that we have made to the lens size, and our chemically inert mesh strip. Everything we use is available on our website in the description below. The first step is to coat the o-ring in a thin layer of polymer. Using our 15 milliliter vial and brush, apply it to the o-ring and spread the polymer out until there is an even coat. We do this to create a barrier so that the polymer does not get into the mounting bracket of the optic. For a thin layer, we are going to give about 5 minutes for the polymer to dry on the o-ring. Once dry, we put the o-ring polymer side down onto the optic. Be sure to get it as close to the edge and as flat as possible without touching the glass with your hands or anything else. Then with our 30 milliliter vial, we are going to pour a small amount of polymer onto the surface. Using a sable 2 brush, we are going to pull at the polymer to spread it out. To do so, use the surface tension between the liquid polymer and the brush so that the brush never touches the glass. Spread the polymer until it runs into the o-ring and there is an even coat. Add more polymer as necessary. The liquid polymer will interact with the dry polymer on the o-ring to create a vacuum-like seal. Allow the polymer to start drying for about two minutes. Afterwards, we will take our chemically inert mesh strip and embed it into the polymer. To do so, take a 15 milliliter vial and brush and lightly re-wet a section of the polymer near the edge. Bend the mesh strip into about a 90 degree angle and place it on top of this section. Once the mesh strip is in place, put another layer of polymer over it and then allow the polymer time to fully dry. Dry times can vary depending on conditions such as temperature, humidity, thickness of the layer of polymer you applied, and airflow. We recommend at least 45 minutes when having to use an o-ring to clean your optics. This process can be expedited in the proper environment. Once the polymer is completely dried, grab the mesh strip and carefully peel the polymer off the optic to reveal the newly cleaned surface underneath. Thank you for watching. For more information, check out photoniccleaning.com or click the link in the description below. Watch some of our other videos and quick help guides here on YouTube and subscribe to our channel for when new videos on our product come out.